Hello Folklorians and welcome to episode 23 of Harry Potter Folklore. In this episode, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Patronus Charm, one of the most powerful and most advanced protective spells in existence. Well, let's not wait any longer. I really hope you enjoy this episode and please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do. It is an immensely complicated and extremely difficult spell that evokes a partially tangible positive energy force in the form of a spirit guardian. It is the primary protection against the mentors to which there is no other defence. This is the Patronus Charm revealed. The Patronus Charm has been used since ancient times. It is unknown who created it or when it was first invented. The charm also has a long association with those fighting for lofty or noble causes as its power stems from happy and positive energy. The vast majority of witches and wizards are unable to produce any form of Patronus and to create even an intangible one is generally considered a mark of superior magical ability. To successfully cast a spell, one must muster the happiest memory that they can think of and begin drawing circles with their wand so as to increase the power of their spell. They must then say the incantation, Expecto Patronum. The Patronus will come from the tip of the wand and can be directed towards a target by pointing one's wand at said target. The Patronus charm is widely regarded as advanced magic far beyond newt level. It is very complex and many qualified wizards and witches have trouble with it. Under negative influence the spell is very difficult to cast as its strength comes from positivity and happiness. This feature of the charm is particularly unfortunate since the charm's primary use is to defend against the mentors, dark creatures specifically equipped to mentally unhinged people and hence why it is partly regarded as such advanced difficult magic. A successfully conjured Patronus can take two forms, non-corporal and corporal and both types vary greatly in their appearances and strength. A non-corporal Patronus is one which does not resemble any living creature and has few distinguishing features. Incorporeal Patronuses resemble a burst of vapour or smoke without any clearly defined form of shooting from the tip of the wand. Though they may be effective at repelling a single Dementor, Incorporeal Patronuses are not fully fledged and are regarded as a more primitive version of the true charm. A corporal Patronus is one that is fully formed, taking the shape of a bright white translucent animal. The specific animal forms that the corporal Patronuses take vary from person to person and reflect each individual's personality. The corporal Patronus is extremely powerful and is capable of repelling multiple Dementors simultaneously. Although its use is viewed as the only form of protection against Dementors, this is not the only use for the Patronus charm. Albus Dumbledore invented a way of using the Patronus as a means of communication. They can deliver messages, speaking with the voice of the caster. This source of communication is believed to be exclusive to the members of the Order of the Phoenix. Using the Patronus for communication offers great advantages in security, as Patronuses identify the caster and are dark arts proof. Thank you very much for watching this video. And remember, if you like our channel, then please, please click this subscribe button right here. Or why not click here to check out some more videos from Harry Potter Folklore.